Hello, Rhino Nation! Andy, hopefully I did not scare you with that one. Yes, it is rough here with Ruffle Stillskin this time. And I know it's taken me a couple days to get this recap going. It ended, uh, what, late Sunday and then Monday power outage here. So no way could I do a recap. However, today we are gonna check out some cool attacks and one that is going to blow you away. So let's go ahead and just get into it. This is uh, week three, season nine, Silver Sharks versus war bees. So let's see what happened. We're 0-2. Can we get our first win? Yes! And look at that! 73! Guys, way to go on this one. We, I'm really proud of everybody, you know? It's hard when you start the season off losing two and, you know, struggling to get going, but you can see that we killed it on the 14s and the 12s. This time we left a 111 and 113. So uh, great job, guys. I'm super proud of everybody for working together and really trying to, you know, do what they can to, you know, get us a win. And look at this. We got a couple six packers. We had Hawkeye. Uh, who else did we have? Drumsticks. Well done, Drumsticks, AKA Andy. Jabby coming in with uh, some great hits. Skywalker as well. Who else do we have? Who else do we have? Anybody else? No, nope, that's it. So we got some couple six packers. We're going to go ahead and check out a few of their attacks. And um, we're going to have some fun today. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do this. All right, here we go. Scrolling down. Where are we starting? I've got my notes. To number 17. Hopefully that didn't get you uh, dizzy. Good old Will. Is he going to do a come to papa attack? No, he's going to instead use 10 zaps, and you're going to see why in a second. You know, uh, four zaps and the quake usually takes out for uh, Town Hall 11, but he's going to go ahead and go with five so that you can see that. Look at that, what he did. He got a little expo action there. And the grounded expos at that, so nice. And now, accord with, of course, with the uh, log launcher, it's going to be a nice little path there where he can send it in and open up access to the eagle, as well as uh, get a little damage on the walls and maybe possibly get to the town hall. We'll see. So he's got some golems, of course, you lead with that, and then you just flood it with the witches. I like how he's got the Warden in there, you know, it does help if you get the Warden in there at a decent time to start protecting that uh, that little log roller there, and yeah, they're going in, King decides to go ahead and come back, there it is, the Warden ability to try to get the log launcher as far as he can. Queen, are you going to come back? You going to come back and help? Let's do this, let's do this! Uh, what's going on on the side there? He's got the Tesla farm up at 11. And everybody has decided to just go ahead and go down to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit because we know the witches are going to succeed in the end. But let's just see how this works. He's got a peck in the middle there. Okay, the queen finally decides to come back in, thank goodness, because he's going to help with the, uh, the pups that are coming out. He did not bring a poison. He went ahead and brought instead a freeze to help him get through. And you can tell... No problem getting through. There's really nothing that's at any danger at this point uh, for the rest of uh, the troops. He's got still the warden kicking ass with his wand, his staff. Uh, Queen's barely hanging on, but he does have some skellies left. So he should be fine. He's got one witch there. She'll get some skellies too. So nice job, Will. Way to go. Again, I like the idea with the 10 zaps instead to uh, just take down those expos and make it even more value. So note to self, base builders, watch archer towers and expos close to your inferno towers. That is my advice for today. We're going to move it up to number 12. And I really like this attack that Sky's doing, you know, and he, he explained it to me. So you see, he's got super witches instead of golems. He's still going to use the zaps and the quake, uh, along with a jump to make sure that he can get his troops where he needs them, but he's still going to use those zaps and the quake for the infernos. 
you know, this time you can see, you'll see that he does the uh, top infernos there with the zaps, so he doesn't have a lot of value. He's only going to do the eight zaps. Um, but, you know, as he explained it to me, and I got to give it to him, I mean, I'm going to try it. Uh, the hit points, uh, you know, compared Super Witches with uh, Golems, pretty close, but the DPS, especially with those big Larrys uh, walking through, you know, it's pretty good, isn't it? So I'm going to have to try it. Uh, he has been doing this attack. The past several wars has done a great job with it. You see, there he goes. He puts the jump in to try to make sure that he has access for the rest of his, this, all the skellies, basically, uh, along with the queen and a couple super witches still hanging in. He's got the king going around to the side, which actually is fine. He's clearing up that backside. And then the, the queen and the warden are going into the center. You still have that one witch hanging on. And she get okay, yeah, she's going to make it right there by the, the expo. And let's go ahead and just zoom in back here. I'll speed it up just a little bit. He does have his queen ability. Uh, the king's still cruising over there. He's got one super witch on each side. So this should not be a problem. They are going to be able to take it down, no problem. And sure enough, that's what he does. Still has his queen ability. And bam. So Sky, great job to you. And nice job with the six pack. Well done. So there we go, a couple Town Hall 12s. We're actually not going to look at a Town Hall 11 today, and we're going to finish with something kind of cool, but let's go up to uh, number 7 next. So here we go, Trash on number 7, he comes in and uh, uses the old hybrid. Hey, why not? It works, right? As long as you know how to use it. So he's going to use his hybrid. And again, all of these uh, attacks, by the way, that I'm showing are fresh hits. Um, I like to do fresh hits if I can, just out of respect for the base builders. It takes a lot to be able to hold off attacks these days, guys. So if a base builder can hold off a couple attacks, I'm not going to really show it in a recap. But here you go. You can see he did a nice little funnel uh, with his baby dragons, and then he's going to bring the king around to the side there as well. Queen's going right up the gut because he wants her to go in there and deal with the town hall. And they did have a fair amount of these super loons. And let me tell you, those can be a little tricky if you're not prepared. If you're not ready, they can just come right out, take your queen down right on the head. But he did a good job. He froze him up, and he also got the super minion out there. You can see uh, Siege Barracks coming in because he's got his king over there taking care of some more stuff. Siege Barracks with the uh, P.E.K.K.A. as well as some wizards. You're going to go ahead and funnel that side, and here they come. Miners, Hogs, Warden, R.C. That's typical for this uh, this type of attack. And you can see he's gonna go ahead and freeze up the scatter because that can do some damage to those miners uh, if you're not careful. And so he wanted to make sure to freeze it up, let his RC come in there. And Queen, are you gonna go on in there? She's gonna go ahead and hang out, just, you know, waste some time. But he's got all the hogs coming out from the siege barracks coming around that backside, so then the queen kind of uh, directs a little bit differently, helps to take out the scatter, which can be a little bit scary, like I mentioned for the, your uh, miners and hogs. So there we go. He has a heal. He still has his ability, his uh, RC ability he just used. So let's see how he's coming in here. Again, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up because this one's looking pretty overkill. There should be no problem at all getting this one. Uh, so good job to you, Trash. Way to go getting one of the uh, 13v13s for us. You know, I feel like the 13s and the 11s, for some reason, have been the tough spot, the t sticking spot for us. So uh, good job getting a 13v13, which is something that we needed. All right, let's go ahead and take it on up. Like I said, we're going to have a, a fun attack at the end here, but we're going to go ahead and go to number four, Racer. Coming in, fresh hit, and look at this, Queen Charge with the Dragon Riders. Love it! He's using some Super Gobs for funnels. I love the Super Gobs, guys. And uh, the, yeah, oh, look at that, King's going in. Okay, I see where this is going. I see what he's doing. He used a Super Wall Breaker right there, and then he's going to do one more just to make sure to get the King in and take down that whole compartment. Nice. And I learned that from you, Andy. Uh, you know, for a mortar, you do one loon and a minion. Like it. Thank you for the lesson. 
All right, what else we got here? We've got uh, the queen, and the queen kind of hanging on by a thread. He waited a little while to make sure that he had all the things down that he wanted uh, before he put the healers in, you know, counting on the, the uh, golden unicorn to uh, save her. And look at this. He's using the log roller to go ahead and take out the space, or the log launcher, lava launcher, whatever you want to call it, the double L, uh, to take out some of the uh, the defenses as long as just go ahead and, and make way for the queen to go right in the side. I love that. Here comes a rage. So right now she's pretty much kicking ass. Coming in. Uh, look at that. Interesting. He has the dragon rider and loons coming out of there. All right. I'll bite, I'll watch, I'll go for it. And then he's, he's got them, uh, the Dragon Riders, with, of course, the Ward Beat with support, along with some loons. Nice job on the freeze there, because that can be a little dangerous, a little dicey. Uh, the Queen is stuck in the Tornado Trap, and then she's trying to handle the Ice Golem, but is she going to make it? Oh, oh, last minute invisibility spell for the win. Good job. And here come the Dragon Riders, uh, trying to take care of the other side. This is looking pretty good. I'm liking how uh, how this worked out for him. He's got minions behind for cleanup. And don't you just love the look of those minions? Look at how cool they look, the Town Hall 14 minions. Love it! All right, he's still got his Warden ability, so it should be coming up. There we go, just in time, just what I figured, to make it through uh, the Town Hall poison. And this one's over, folks. He has a freeze, he's got the Queen, he still has way too many Dragon Riders for this base to hold on. It's a nice hit, Racer. Well done, AKA Randy, or Andy, as we like to call him. Randy's the old school uh, Andy name. So, uh, good job, Andy. Let's go ahead and take it up another notch here. Why not to number two with Mo, my buddy? Uh, for whatever reason, he likes to call me Furry. I don't know how that name came up, and Mo, you're gonna have to uh, give me a schooling on that because I can't remember how he came up with that, but very funny. So, um, here we are. Who knows why I went off on that tangent. That's just how I'm rolling today. Uh, let's see what he's coming in with. He's got... Alright, so we went ahead and uh, took out the sweeper. Alright, I like that idea. And I really am liking this, uh, this comp. With, you know, say six, seven dragons along with four, sometimes five dragon riders. It is kind of deadly right now for Town Hall 14. It is really hard to defend even with those max ADs like we're on here. You see he's got the rages early to just completely take down that whole comp. He's going to wait for the warden ability to make sure that the blimp can get all the way through. There it goes. Blimp. Nice warden ability. Going all the way through that he so that he can take that comp down and then uh, just follow it up with his dragons and his dragon riders. See the queen's still up over there. Um, she she should be able to handle that IT. Let's see, Inferno, yep. And of course, he's gonna send in the RC to help out, so why not? That worked out great. He still has a freeze, still has a super wall breaker. Not sure that that's gonna come in handy. He was probably expecting to use it somewhere else, maybe the queen to last just a little bit longer than she did. But it's still looking okay. He's got, what, three dragon riders down there, three dragons. So not bad, let's just see. I'll go ahead and uh, speed it up a little bit just so that we don't go too long today. Okay, he's looking for a spot for the minion. There it was. Why not go ahead and use the super wall breaker? Why not? All right, as long as those dragon riders can take out that middle, the scatter obviously is gonna be the thing to get down at. Oh, and the warden helps too. Nice and good job, Moak. Well done, again, another a uh, fresh hit for us uh, on Town Hall 14, so well done. All right, you guys, you know you've been waiting for it. And Jabby, I know you are expecting this on there, and why not? Because we had a ton of Town Hall 12 attacks left. And why did we? Because the Town Hall 12s killed it. So why not? Jabby has a 12 and a 13, so he thought, you know what? I'm going to go in here and uh, scout this and see if I can figure out a good, a good army comp for my 13. And what happens? Uh-oh. 12 v 13. He ends up doing it. Let's see what happens here. Uh, 
Killer! I mean, great attack! Why not? If you're gonna be able to take down a 13 with your 12, no RC, go buddy. It's all you. So I love how he opens up with the the E-Drag, he gets some great value, nice funnel for his queen to take her in, and I like the ice column over there on the cannon. You know, it's going to end up freezing that whole section to make sure that the queen can get in, and then he's going to use the king on the other side for the funnel. So you can see real quick what kind of a funnel he's setting up here for his dragons and his loons. Here they come, and also note there is one more ice golem, and that comes in handy later. So his queen goes ahead and uses the ability. He's going to send in, of course, with the warden ability, that blimp uh, to make sure that the, the blimp makes it all the way to the town hall. It's looking pretty good. Dragon should have no problem at all with the CC troops. Let's see, does he get it in there? Oh, yes! Gets it in there with the dragon rider. And I do like that in the blimp. Uh, it's pretty deadly to take down a town hall. So uh, nice job there. And there he goes. He's going to go ahead and use the bats with the freeze, the bad bomb at that back circle because why? He can freeze both the multi and the wizard tower with that freeze. And he knows that he's going to be able to do the job that normally the RC would be doing at that bottom corner there. So. A uh, couple dragons left. He's got quite a few bats. Look at the RC trying to chase him down. She's like, hey, bats, what are you doing? I gotta get you down here. You're taking down my base. What's happening? What is happening? The bats are still making it, and we've got a couple dragons. It gets a little scary here at the end, but again, this is a 12v13. What do you expect? Oh my gosh, how much... Okay, not bad on the health. The uh, dragon's about half. Okay, so he's got a fair amount of health there. Let's see, can the dragons take down the RC? Oh, oh no. Oh, no, please say it isn't so. And she does. She takes the dragons down. So now as we're watching, we're thinking, oh, it's going to be a pity if he doesn't get this. Look at the bats. are taking forever. It's just, it's one of those where you're just waiting, waiting. But look at how many bats. And the RC doesn't have much left, so she is not going to make it. Sorry, it's over. Great job, Chabby. Uh, pretty impressive. And I'm telling you, he's been using this drag bat with his 13 and having a lot of success. So it's a great, great option right now for 13. Um, I'm going to start trying it. I've been using a lot of the Dragon Riders so at 13 as well, but I'm going to give it a shot. So guys, good job to you. Uh, Silver Sharks taking in the win. Yes. And we're making a comeback. We're one and two. We've got another war coming up this weekend. So we'll be heading in for uh, week four. And I think that's all I have for you today. So I uh, hope to see you next time. Have a fantastic week. And until next time, peace.